Welcome on back. We had some rival matchups in 4A2 with Crook County and Madras playing each other at opposite schools. Let's start with the boys in Prineville. Both teams at the top end of the Tri-Valley Conference looking to prove who's the top dog. Cowboy guard Logan Matthews pushing the ball up floor. Senior Cameron Carr waiting in the corner. Hits the three and ports back to his boy like thank you very much. For Madras, Seneca Ball out here hitting the step back. Is that the fourth ball, brother? The triple rings home. How about big Edward Freoff? He gets the ball in the paint, three defenders on him, and he spins through all of them. Got to put the whole team on him next time. And guess what? Froff is now doing it on defense. Blocks the Madras shot. Matthews gets the ball, runs the floor, puts some ice on there too, because he left his defender on skates. Pulls up for the quick three, and it's good. Skytus Smith, you know what? He's got a little bit of touch too. Hits this three after waiting in the corner. Shh, silent assassin. All right, a crazy sequence here. Zachary Levskew gets the feed at the top of the paint and knocks down the shot. Time's expiring in the quarter, though, so Michael Poland has to act quick. He just throws it up, and he hits it at the buzzer. <laughs> Huge shot, but you know what? It's not enough for the White Buffaloes. Crook County wins this one 72-61. to Let's head over to Madras, where the girls' team is hosting the Crook County Cowgirls. Caitlin Weaver has the ball on the wing, pulls up over two defenders for the clean basket. Weaver, one of our stars from last year, doing it again this year. Rylan Davis, she's going to get the ball at the top of the key. Zero hesitation, shooting all the way. Three ball is good, no doubt in her mind. Cowgirls swinging it around the horn. Sasha Esquiro commits for the steal, but you know what? She misses, and then Caitlin Fields steps up into a long two, and she ain't missing. Buffalo is now on a breakaway. Davis slows it up. She's going to survey everything and then turns the burners on and hits a floater in the lane. Nice little misdirection and a fantastic finish. Weaver committing for the steal, but she times it perfectly. Makes for an easy layup in what was a close, close game. Mattress now on another breakaway. Esquiro quick to the corner. She drills it. Aggressive effort on defense, making up for it with offensive excellence. Madras takes the game by one singular point. White Buffaloes win 44 to 43. Now for the best part of the night, we take a look at the flashiest moments, the best efforts, and the clutch genes. It's time for Top Plays. Here's this week's Top Plays. Starting with last week's winner, congrats to Brooklyn Gilsdorf of Bend High. This might be off the Check the Record books, our first ever JV top play winner. The buzzer beater, certainly worthy. All right, on to this week. Defense turned to offense. Edward Freoff with the block, and his buddy Logan Matthews pulling up quick and knocking down the shot from three and sending his defender sliding as well. Great shot, great play. On to number two. Summit's Brandon McAlpine. He's going to knock down a three in his blowout win for Summit. And you know what? By the crowd reaction, you have to be a likable kid. So therefore, I'm happy for you. Brandon, that's a great shot. Finally, number three, some more defense to offense, but just one person this time. Caitlin Weaver reads the pass like a book, takes it in for the easy layup, doing it all herself. Mattress ends up getting the win, but a great play by her. As always, some fantastic choices, but there can only be one winner. Vote for your favorite at ktvz.com slash sports. Show the kids some love. Thank you again for joining us as you do every week. If you want more scores from around the league, you can check the prep scoreboard tab on our website. We have boys and girls scores from all over the state, actually, so make sure to stay up to date on that. We'll be back next week with more scores and highlights. I can't wait to see you there. It's the big playback. Good night.